And here are 10 points in 10 minutes with Reverend Cheryl Kincaid. Hi, this is Pastor Cheryl Kincaid, and I am the author of A Forgotten Door Caught Home and Carrie Storn, two books about girls that were becoming women in the foster care system and aged out of the system. And if I met you in an airport and I just had 10 things I had to share with you about life that I wanted you to know about me, these are the 10 things that I'd like you to know. I'd like you to know that there's nothing that you have done or has been done to you that is beyond God's grace and his healing and his redemption. You can be made whole again. I want you to know that God's will for you, his goodness for you has not been thwarted by your bad decisions. You're not that powerful. He can still turn things around for good. I want you to know that everyone's life has seasons. So if you're going through a rough patch right now, hang on. This too will pass. As the scripture says, weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I want you to know that as a person of faith, you have the right to be angry. And it's called righteous anger. And that will help protect you against further abuse. I want you to learn the difference between forgiveness and denial. When you forgive someone, you must first acknowledge that they violated you. And with that acknowledgement comes the knowledge that that person is dangerous and you must exercise caution around them. Denial says the abuse isn't that bad and takes responsibility for the abuse or says that it was deserved and thus hushes the voice of caution and leaves the door open for further abuse. I want you to know that there's a higher power in this world and you are not him. And um, so you can let go and let God. I want you to know that that God's love is there for you even when everyone else rejects you. I want you to know that God will make a way when there seems to be no way. So look for the alternatives. Look for the options when things turn bad on you. I want you to know that you must hand back the responsibility of your abuse to your abuser. If you don't hand back that responsibility, you may hand it on to innocent people through angry actions or through self-destructive acts. And I want you to forgive yourself for the bad decisions that you've made. You did the best you could in the circumstances you were given. And, you, and even if you weren't, you have a chance to do things better now that you know better. Again, this is Cheryl Kincaid, author of Karen Thorne, A Forgotten Door by Home, uh, A Forgotten Door Called Home. I'm wishing you the best and God's blessings and have a good day. And these were 10 points in 10 minutes with Reverend Cheryl Kincaid. 